Two weeks into October now, predictably, Salem seeing a jump in visitors ahead of Halloween. But the size of this jump is surprising. Visitor numbers are up more than 100,000 from last year. And as WBZ's Mike Sullivan tells us, Salem is now putting out a warning that it hopes will <laughs> scare people out of driving into the city. <laughs> the ghouls and ghosts are multiplying. Just don't be alarmed. This is Salem. The highest numbers I've seen in 16 years here. Perhaps it's the COVID creep crawling away or hocus pocusitis. People are heading to Salem in record numbers. Crowded from 8 in the morning right up until 11 at night. In the first nine days of October, Destination Salem says the city has seen 100,000 more people this year compared to last. I think this is a combination of Europeans, Canadians, they can travel here again. Tim McGuire owns Salem Night Tours. The history he tells is certainly spooky. Here it's like this is the guy we press with stones and this is... Our history is just a little more darker. Yet business couldn't be brighter. We have been selling presentations out in September. Typically, we don't do that. Tina Jordan is the executive director of the Witch Museum. If you come with no plans, you will be disappointed. That includes booking dinner or attraction reservations well ahead of time. People have been pent up, and they want to get out, and they want to do fun things. If you plan to get here, you may need real magic, not just some bewitched TV magic. Take the train, the Salem Ferry. Come by horse. There's a lot of old people now with the little scooters. That might be better than driving. Destination Salem suggests using the commuter rail. The MBTA added extra trains to Salem on the weekends. When you move to a city like Salem, you have to, en you have to enjoy it and you have to embrace it. In Salem, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News.